Hey everybody, Ryan with New Moon Telescopes. I wanted a good excuse to film the 36 inch, so uh, we're just going to do a quick demo on how I would use Argo Navis in tandem with ServoCAD. So basically these two components will turn your telescope into a go-to and tracking uh, functioning system. You can also use servo cap with either Nexus or Sky Commander. But this is the example we're going to use is Argo Navis. So first thing we would do, of course, install everything and we'll turn on Argo Navis here. And after it's on, I'll go down and I have a power ground board here. I'm going to turn on my servo cat. So I wait about 10 seconds and I should hear a little beep, beep, beep. That signifies There it goes. So that means Argo is now talking to ServoCat and it says fix alt ref. So it wants to know 90 degree reference point. So I'm going to do that. I'll push the telescope up 90 degrees. We're going to hit enter. Okay. Now I need to do a two star alignment. So I'm going to exit out, go to mode, align, star, hit enter. Now it's sunny out, but I know that Caster is somewhere over in here. So I'm just gonna pretend I know where Caster is. So I'm gonna scan over to Caster. Star Caster in Gemini. So I'm not gonna bother climbing on the ladder. I'm just gonna do a very rough alignment here. Notice I don't have the clutches engaged as I do this alignment. All right, we're gonna say Caster's about right there. So when I get to Caster, I can actually use the servo cat controller and hit go to for enter. So we did Caster, and now what else can we do? Let's do Spica. So I know that Virgo is right in here, so I'm going to go to Spica. I mean, I'm probably nowhere near it, but we're gonna go real close here. Okay, Spica, I hit go to again. My warp factor is plus, point, plus 9, okay? You want your warp factor to be 0.5 or less. Plus 9 is no good, but for the sake of what I'm doing, it's going to work. All right, so we go over here to Mode Catalog on Argo Navis. We're going to select the Messier object or the IC or star, wherever you're wanting to go. Um, I'm going to go here to M109, because I know M109 should be in this vicinity here. That gives us a good action that you can see it all work. Okay, so I've got my selected object. I need to engage my altitude and azimuth. All right, so both of my clutches are now engaged. So I'm going to hit go to on my servo cat controller. And there she goes. To give you an idea, this scope weighs about 420, 430 pounds. Servo cat has no problem at all moving that much weight. The important thing is to have your telescope appropriately balanced. Last adjustment. And there we are. So now we would be tracking and we don't have to worry about constantly moving our telescope as we go up and down the ladder throughout the night. Thanks for watching.